Okay, we are looking at the seal receiver in the motor bracket or back plate. What we want to look for is the bottom edge of that wants to be fairly, wants to be level. You don't want to have much deterioration there. And on the edges themselves, they want to be fairly sharp because there's either going to be a cup seat or an O-ring that fits against those. This one looks pretty bad to the eye in terms of rust, but the metal looks like it's in good shape. There's really not, hopefully you can see that, get some light around, around this. You can see that the bottom is good and flat. The edge where the wall meets the bottom is pretty crisp. That's what you want to look for when you're going to put your seat back in. If, it's, if there's a lot of pitting on the wall or on the bottom, you're uh, asking for trouble just rebuilding it. You might want to turn back at that point, but that's what you want to look for when you're going to put before you put the seal back in and you're evaluating the rebuildability of one of your pumps. Typically a seal is going to have four components. A round piece like this, either going to have an O-ring or it's going to be in a rubber cup. This one is an O-ring. This is called a stationary seat. You'll notice one side is shiny, one side is not shiny. The shiny side goes up away from the motor. There's a spring a centering washer and what's going to be called the rotating head of the seal. This is the part with the graphite, this part goes on the shaft sleeve, this part, the, the stationary seat, goes in the motor bracket that we just looked at. Okay, we're going to put this together. Okay, we've got our motor with the sleeve back on it. We're going, the next step is we're going to put the motor bracket or the back plate back on. This is a new one. I'm using that because it's much going to go together simpler. Yours won't be this clean. Hopefully it'll be looking good. So you're going to put this on here. They are usually on a close coupled pump and that's what we're working on right now. A close coupled pump. This can be an end suction or an inline pump but a close coupled pump. You can have a motor and a motor bracket. Shaft of the motor goes through here. There is typically a sleeve on the motor. You've got four bolts that hold this back in. I'm not going to put those in right now just to save time. Once you get that in there and put together, you're going to put the seal on. Okay, we've got our motor bracket on the motor. You can see our seal receiver in the motor bracket. This is where the stationary seat goes, where the screwdriver is. We're going to take this, put a little bit of lube on it, anything non-petroleum, and we're going to press this down evenly. This is a silicone carbide one. It is very, very, very brittle, very, very hard, but it's not tough. That fits down into that cavity right there. Now again, the next thing that goes on is going to be the rotating head. That is this piece right here. Again, we've got on the stationary seat the shiny side up. This piece right here rides on that. That is actually what creates the water seal. Once we have lubricated that a little bit, we've got a little bit of lube on the shaft sleeve and on the rotating head. We're going to push that down on there. The next thing we're going to do, on this pump there was a spacer. You're going to have to watch when you take things apart. This pump had a spacer on it, so we're going to put the spacer next. If you don't put the spacer on before you put the rotating head on, you won't get the rotating head on. Next is going to be the spring. Next is going to be the centering washer. Now the centering washer on this, this is our impeller for that. That's got a little place where that's going to fit. Hopefully you can see that little rise up on that, that's going to fit around that. So we are going to put that on there. The next thing we want is our key. You can see the key slot in the motor, the impeller, you can see the key slot there. We're going to put the key into the slot on the motor, line that up with this slot, and that should go down fairly easily. The next thing we're going to do is put the washer and the bolt in. This washer has some Loctite on it. Put that down. This is stainless. Stainless is not as tough as you might like, so it needs to be darn tight, but you don't have to wring it off. Those are not that hard to wring off. They need to be, this needs to be fully down. Once it is tightened up, when you spin it, there should be a little bit of shake when that spins when it stops. So we are back together, we're ready to put this back in the pump.